All right, so everybody's talking about selling low content books on Amazon KDP. You see tons of YouTubers talking about how you can make thousands of dollars every single month selling these blank notebooks. But can you really still do that today? And for those of you who don't know, low content books are journals or workbooks with just blank pages inside. And because these are so easy to make and has nothing inside, you can't really charge a premium for it. And just look at how much competition you have here. So if you're selling low content books, you are competing with 70,000 other sellers selling virtually the same generic books. So I'm not saying you can't make money with these, but it's gonna be tough. Plus, if you're just starting out, it's gonna be even tougher with zero reviews. But what if I told you that I have a better way to make money with books that will give you higher margins with lower competition? So instead of following everybody else with low quality, low content books, I want you to shift your focus to creating high quality, medium content books. So what do you mean by a medium content book? Well, you're gonna be creating the same type of books, but instead of having blank pages on the inside, you're gonna add in some content like mazes, puzzles, word search, or coloring pages. And because you're providing extra content inside these books, they will have higher perceived value, which means that you can charge more for it. So let me show you the math behind it. So I'm gonna be using a tool called Book Bolt to spy on competitors on Amazon. So for instance, this book here sells about 652 units per month at $8. So that's about $5,200 per month. And as you can see, this book has gotten more than 700 reviews, so I'm not surprised that it's selling pretty well. But let's take a look at another one, Autumn Word Search Large Print. So if you look closely here, they literally just published this book on July 27th, which is less than a month ago. And with only four reviews, it's able to generate 513 units in sales every month, which is $4,100 a month. And here's another one, 4,000 new words, word search for adults. They also just started less than two months ago and already selling about 485 units per month, which is $4,800 per month. Now keep in mind that these are revenue numbers, not profit. So later in the video, I'll be showing how much Amazon actually charges and how much you get to keep at the end. But just being conservative, I'm pretty sure that the books I just mentioned make at least $1,000 per month. And with Amazon KDP, your strategy is to publish multiple books. So just imagine having five books that does thousand dollars per month and that's already five thousand dollars a month but of course we're not just going to create five books because in the next step i'm going to show you how i was able to create one book in just under an hour with book Bowl. so you can create 10 20 30 books in a very short amount of time okay so now the big question is is selling books on kdp actually a good business well today i'm going to give you three things i love about this business model number one it's a digital product which means that no buying inventory no manufacturing time no stockouts and you can basically create a book today and have it on sale by tomorrow. And number two, since you'll be creating the book yourself, the cost of starting this business is virtually zero. And remember, this is Amazon KDP, not Amazon FBA. Because I started an Amazon FBA business back in 2015 and I had to spend $10,000 minimum to buy my first batch of 500 units. But with KDP, your only cost is the software you use to create the book. And number three, because you're not manufacturing physical goods, you can scale up really fast. Because if you can create one book in just under an hour, imagine how many you can create in a week. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find books that actually sell, how to create a book in just under an hour, and how to scale up the business from making $1,000, $3,000, or even $10,000 and beyond. But before I do that, if you like videos like this, please don't forget to hit the like button. That would help me out a lot. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos in the future. All right, so let's start with number one. How to find books that actually sell. All right, so the number one problem I see people complain about is books are so saturated, right? There's too much competition. Well, let me show you this. If you go to Amazon today, you'll notice that there are new cookbooks. If you go back a month, there's another set of cookbooks. And if you go back 30 years ago when your grandma was your age, there are already cookbooks. So no matter which year you pick in the last 30 years, you'll find that books are changing all the time. And if you extrapolate 30 years into the future, once again, the market will have new cookbooks. And even in the world of websites, we have over 1.9 billion websites today. And those business owners must have thought, wait a second, there are so many billion websites. Why should I start another website, right? Everything is so saturated, so everything should stop, right? But the internet or products or whatever you look at, there's no saturation point. And the reason for that is because our tastes keep changing. So if you look at a butter chicken recipe, which has been around for decades, 
but when it's explained by somebody else, it just feels different. You may like that personality or that particular method or the way that person explains things, right? So at the end of the day, the question you ask must be slightly different. So don't ask, should I give up because the market is saturated? But instead you can ask, how do I break into this market? How can I be different? So if you're just spending a few quick minutes creating a generic product, stick it on Amazon and hoping that it will sell, then yes, it's gonna be oversaturated for you. But for those people who are spending the time making products that nobody wants to spend the time making, there's relatively no competition for you. And I think that's the right way to do anything really. All right, so next I'm gonna show you my thought process and how I would do my research. All right, so I'm gonna use my favorite tool book ball to do my research. So once you're logged in, you want to go to the left navigation bar here and click on cloud. So this is where you can see the best selling books on Amazon KDP. Now you can narrow it down by category. And for this example, I'm just going to pick puzzle book and see what's out there and I'm going to hit search. Now you're going to see all the results here. So what book Bolt is doing here, it's actually analyzing Amazon KDP and showing you the best sellers in the puzzle book category. And if you notice here, you get a lot of information on the books. You can see the estimated monthly sales, the BSR, which is Amazon's best sellers rank and the price is selling at. So you can essentially spy on your competitors to see what's selling before you actually invest your time into creating a book. So let's take a look at another category. Um, coloring books. All right, so when you hear coloring books, your mind naturally goes to children's coloring books, right? And yes, they are selling well because uh, obvious reasons, but did you know that there are coloring books for adults? Yeah, and check this out. So this one, Mindful Patterns Coloring Book for Adults, are selling 686 units per month. Now, if you go to Amazon and you search for coloring books for adults, you'll get 60,000 results, which is very competitive. But let me show you how a book in this saturated market can still thrive. So let's go back to Book Ball and check out this coloring book here with a sweary theme. They're selling 670 units, which is around $4,700 a month. And that's just one book, because you can probably do a few variations of this. And this is exactly what I mean by being different. So think about how to niche down a step further while still being relevant to your audience. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually create the book. And for today's example, I'm gonna create a medium content book with a word search puzzle. So please note that I'm not recommending you to sell this book, but I'm just using this as an example to show what's possible with Book Bolt and how fast and easy it is to publish your first book. But if you really need some niche ideas, I've already compiled a list of potential niches that has very good potential and low competition. So I think there are about 15 to 20 of them and that should get you started. So if you want that list, just go ahead and download it from the link in the description, it's free. So you can go on the left here and click create and choose Book Ball Studio. Now for the new project, I'm gonna choose paperback cover and interior. And for the project name, I'll just name it Ultimate Halloween Word Search Large Print. Cause I guess Halloween's coming up, so this might be a good time to start. And I'll just have 50 pages on the book and then you click on create project. All right, so on the right side is the front cover and the left one is the back cover. Now I wanna remind you not to use any copyrighted photos from Google because you can get in trouble down the road. But instead, Book Bolt has a direct link to Pixabay and Unsplash. So if you look here, you can click on this image icon right here and you can basically search any photos here without having to worry about copyright. So let me just search Halloween and choose an image for the book cover. Okay, so I think this one looks pretty good. So I'll choose this one. Now I'm just gonna adjust it and center it here. And next I'm gonna add some text. And remember guys, take the time to design these covers because this is the photo that people will see on Amazon, right? So it's really important that it's good. Uh, and pro tip, Book Bolt has all the tools you need to design this. But if you don't have great design skills, you can always outsource it to someone on Fiverr and you can upload that external image to the final cover here. So I'm just throwing that out as an option. Okay, so let's move on to the inside of the book. So all I'm gonna do now is to click on this page right here and click on this icon, which is page template. Now you're gonna see that there are tons of different template types from lines, squares, but what you're looking for is the word search puzzle, right? So you wanna filter up here by pro only because this is where all the activity templates are. So I'm gonna click on the word search here. 
Now, because this is a word search, I'm going to make the first half of the book all the puzzles and the second half the answers. And since this is a large print book, so one thing you could do is to make the font larger. So I think this is important if you're targeting an audience who don't have a very good eyesight. So let's just put 80 pixels. And I'm also going to choose a font that's easier to read. All right, now here comes the fun part. So Bookball is going to create the word search puzzle for us, but we need to input the words ourselves. But this is also really easy. So earlier, I just had to Google spooky Halloween words and look, you can easily copy these words and upload them into Bookball. So there are two ways of doing this. So since you have 25 pages to work with, you can either group the words according to the alphabet, like Halloween words that starts with an A and B and do one alphabet per page. Or you can also group them by the type of word. So like this one, like haunted words, creepy places, witchy words. I think the second option is more interesting, but hey, you can do both and make two books out of it. Or if you want to be really smart about this, you can create a theme for each Halloween book. So you can create a book for witchy words, haunted words, creatures, creepy, horror words. And now you have five books from the same idea. There you go. So going back to the example, I'm going to copy these words into the CSV file and upload it to Bookball. So if you're wondering what the CSV file should look like, you can click on the example CSV right here. All right, so I've managed to copy everything into the CSV and I'm just going to upload it here to Bookball. Now in just a few seconds, everything's ready and you'll see everything is done and Bookball has also put the answers on the puzzles on the second half of the book. Perfect. Now this puzzle book is actually ready to go, but why don't we make it a little bit nicer? So it just looks a little bit plain. So what you could do now is add more elements to the page. So maybe you can add a spider web, something like that. And I'm just going to adjust the opacity so it's not too intrusive. And maybe we can add a flying witch as well and just put it on top here. So now you can see that there are a lot of things that you can do here. But let's say you're happy with the design. You can copy it to the other pages or you can even create unique designs for each page, which is entirely up to you. And once you're done, you can click on download here and Bookball is going to compile everything into a PDF file that you can upload directly into Amazon KDP. Now, I'm not going to show you how to upload the book into KDP because there are plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do that because I want to share with you some important strategies you can use to market your books. But before I get to that, I want to quickly show you how much this tool costs. Now, Bookball is just $9.99 a month. But if you want to create a puzzle book like I just did, you'll need the pro plan, which is $19.99. They do have a free trial, so you can try it and play around with the tool. Now, the good news is that I've partnered with BookBolt, so if you use my link down below and use code JASON20, you'll get 20% off any of these plans. So if you decide to get the pro plan, it's just going to be $15.99 a month. So skip that avocado toast and invest in something that can potentially make you thousands of dollars in passive income. Okay, so there are so many strategies in my mind that I wanna share, but in this video, I'm gonna leave you with three tips. So number one, you gotta up your quality. So think of this as a real business. So if you think that you're just gonna slap any book on Amazon and hope that you're gonna sell thousands of books tomorrow, you'll be disappointed. But you gotta invest in the design of the content of the books to differentiate yourself. And number two, read negative reviews. So before you make any book, read the negative reviews of your competitors. So you go and see what people are saying, you know, why people are giving these books two stars, three stars. So see what people don't like about them, fix the issues, and use them as your selling point in the description of your book. So number three, focus on getting reviews. So you can sell a lower price in the beginning, get your reviews, and then raise the price later. Because remember, unlike selling physical products, you don't have any cost of goods and you're not spending thousands of dollars in products, right? So the least you can do is lower your price, make smaller margins, and use those to get your initial reviews. Because once you get the ball rolling, you can always readjust the price and enjoy that passive sales. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love to use social media to get more traffic. And for Amazon KDP, it's no different. So it's easy to start, you don't have to show your face, and you can eventually outsource the video creation. So check out this account, for example, Satisfying Page on TikTok. They make faceless videos about coloring books, and they're not doing anything special here, just coloring. But you see how many views they get, 10 million, 15 million, 3 million. And that's just crazy. So if you simply put a link back to your Amazon page, just imagine how many people will buy your books. And how do I know this? Because video is proven to convert and build brand loyalty. And because you're not showing your face, you can eventually build system and processes for someone else to create these videos for you. So check out another account here, Coffee and Crosswords. 
doing videos on crossword puzzles and another one Coco Michelle illustrations also doing videos on coloring and illustrations so you get the idea there's a lot of demand for activity books and people are even more interested to see how these activities are being done in video so that's the way i would scale up the business so that's it guys i think the video is getting too long although i do have a lot more strategies that i want to share but if i get enough comments about this i will do another video with high level strategies on how to actually make money with your amazon kdp business so if you want to see something like that comment down below and make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss the video when i post it but in the meantime, if you want to learn about another profitable business idea that makes $11,000 a month, you can click on this video next and I will see you there.